Good evening and welcome to another episode of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. Up first tonight, Fiorentina boss Paolo Souza has said that he expects to face a completely different Spurs side than what people are used to. Obviously, this season we're playing with a lot more confidence, a lot more swagger. Rotation in the squad has been great this season, so we've got a really deep, full-strength squad. Um, we've come to win possession, we're looking awesome and... Paolo Souza seems to be a little bit scared ahead of our game against Fiorentina tomorrow. He said that players have come into the squad who are giving more than they, they've managed to rotate throughout the season while maintaining very high levels, and that's important. Also said that they're a team who play an intense style throughout the match and they're used to these kind of games. Yes, you could call them favourites. So Souza expects us to be favourites tomorrow night. Are you confident about what we can do in Florence? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I believe that we can do this. I'm not sure whether we play a full strength side. Obviously, like I say, squad rotation is great at the moment. We've got so many good players that we can bring in. What do you think the starting 11 is going to be? Let me know in the comments section below. Will we get revenge against Fiorentina after knocking us out last season? Also, let me know in those comments. Up next, former Spurs goalkeeper Brad Friedel has said that our capitan, Hugo Lloris, is going to be one of the differences between us winning the league and not winning the league. Now, what he actually said was that people can look to him and see how he's acting, and as long as he's calm, then everything's fine. Now, I completely agree with that. With Hugo in goal, compared to goalies that we've had in the past, everything just seems so much more relaxed. Yes, his distribution could be a little bit better, but we all know he's working on that in training. He's working hard to correct it. But having Hugo in goal, I mean, he showed that on, uh, on Sunday against City when he saved uh, the chance that Otamendi had right at the end. We were 2-1 up, could have leveled right at the end, but he was there, put his hand in the way, fantastic save to keep us ahead. And I can completely understand what Bradfried was saying there. Having Hugo in goal just makes things feel so much safer. Obviously our defence is so good this season and I would give him a lot of credit for that as well. A lot of our, all of our defenders, especially Jan and Toby, getting a lot of credit for this. Vim has come in, he's doing really well as well. But Hugo, having him there just solidifies the whole thing and just makes things so good. So there's also a lot of debate at the moment about who's the best goalie in the league. In my opinion, I've been speaking to some of the people in this office saying that I honestly think that Hugo Lloris is the best goalkeeper in the league. If you disagree with me, I'm sure there'll be people out there that will. But in my opinion, Hugo is the best goalie in the league. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Is Hugo the best goalie in the league? Let me know. Finally today, a little bit different from what we normally do, but earlier on today, I did a poll on our social media page. Now, the question I asked, and it was a hypothetical question, was if you had to prioritise the FA Cup or the Europa League, which one would you go for? Now, 64% of you said that you'd rather concentrate on the FA Cup. Now, we've won the FA Cup eight times, the last time being in 1991. A lot of us would have been really young then. A lot of us may not remember it. I remember it very vaguely through videos and things like that. I was very young at the time. So it'd be lovely to, you know, refresh everyone's memory about how good a football team and how much history Spurs as a football club have. Also, UEFA Cup, as it was called then, we won back in 72 and 1984. And obviously I weren't born then either. Maybe a lot of our followers weren't either. I've only seen in videos Tony Park's save that won us the 1984 trophy. And it drove White Hart Lane mental. The whole place just erupted and it looked amazing. So, you know, a European glory night would be amazing. Also, FA Cup, it's the FA Cup for Christ's sake. So, you know, I'm a bit on the fence about which one I would rather concentrate on. Obviously, I'd love to concentrate on all three, including the league. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. What would you rather concentrate on if we had to? Or would you rather concentrate on, on all three, including the Premier League? So, that's it for today's 7 o'clock Spurs. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and also get those comments in below if you've got anything to ask, any suggestions as well, make sure to get them in. Come on you Spurs! How's it going everyone? Welcome to another match preview and this time we have Fiorentina away in the Europa League.